In the midst of fire, God is in control. The global stage is converging exactly as God said in his word thousands of years ago. Last night, April 14th, the Ayatollah regime in Iran unleashed an unprecedented attack against our people. There were over 300 threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, rockets from Lebanon, as well as explosive laden drones. In the preceding week, just so happened that Turkey cut all financial ties with Israel. Russia is now allied with Iran, and Iran is using the Russian GPS system, the navigation system, to guide their attack on our land. Is this a step towards the war of Gog and Magog? We can't be sure, but in these troubled times, we know for sure that it is our God who is in control, and He is coming soon. Now, more than ever, those recent events give us the urgency to bring the good news of the gospel, to reach our people, to reach Israel and the nations with the gospel. Our people are hungry for hope and it is our calling in these days, in these moments, to share the message of hope and encouragement with our people. In Psalm we read, O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The current situation is very concerning. It could immediately plunge the region and the world into an all-out war. We are thankful to the allies who came to our aid the night of the 14th. But as the days unfold, our trust is in God alone. I'm reminded of Psalm 20, verse 7, that says, Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Please pray with us that our nation leans on God in these times and not on our own strength or the strength of our allies. It seems that once again, Israel is in the eye of the storm. Once again, we are at the center of these conflicts, but yet we find peace in the storm anchored in God's promises. We need to remember that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. This conflict is rooted in a greater spiritual battle. But we know the end of the story. Our God will overcome the nations that rage against Him. As we read in Joel, the Lord shall roar from Zion and utter His voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be a refuge unto His people and a stronghold to the children of Israel. So let us not be overwhelmed by the news we're seeing. Our God has graciously foretold these events and we can stand with faith that no matter the fire that comes, He is with us. As Yeshua exhorted His disciples, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. In the last month, we've seen an unprecedented growth in our Hebrew outreach channels, with over 62,000 people registering to our Hebrew channels in Israel alone in the last 30 days. It's time to stand in prayer and support for Israel. It's time to share the good news in these days of bad news. Now it is high time to awaken out of sleep. For now, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. I want to thank many of you that sent texts, email, calls, and prayed for us during this horrific season. So I invite all of our listeners and those that watch us, join us today. Help bring support and awakening to Israel in these days. I invite you to become one for Israel.